Hello, and welcome to our Serenade video. In this video, we will show you how to upload documents in the client portal. By going this route, all documents can be shared through here as opposed to emailing them. Let us log into the client portal. You should have received an email with login credentials to access what we call the client portal. Please locate that email which will take you to the site and input those login credentials. Once inside the client portal, you will go to the Shared Documents tab. From here, you will click on Add Documents. A batch upload box will appear. You will now open a window from your desktop and highlight the documents you wish to upload. You will then drag the files onto the batch upload, where they will then be listed. Please note if you are doing this through a phone or a tablet, you can click on the upload area which will take you to your image files and proceed to select the documents and in similar fashion, the documents will be listed. The last thing to do here is select what type of file is this in the drop down menu. By default, there is the option to select new client documents. However, if a document checklist has been shared with you, you can select the document that applies. Once you've made a selection for each document, you will finalize by clicking upload. Your documents have now been uploaded and your caseworker will be notified via email. You will see the uploaded documents here. Before we end this, please note that if a questionnaire has been sent to you, you also have the ability to upload documents in similar fashion within the questionnaire. Any questionnaire sent to you will be in your inbox. Once inside the inbox, click on the questionnaire you'd like to work on. If you scroll down to the bottom, you will see an option to upload a document. Then, click on Add Document. The batch upload will appear. You can then proceed to upload how we saw earlier. You can either upload files through here in the questionnaires or in the shared document section. Those image files will ultimately go to your caseworker. This concludes our video on uploading documents.